Welcome to the Launch Brief, your go-to source for the latest tech news. In this episode, we're diving into how AI deepfakes disrupt elections worldwide. We'll also cover new Meta, OpenAI, and Apple product launches. Let's get started. AI deepfakes are a global threat to elections. India's elections, which began last week and will continue until early June, highlight how the rapid growth of AI tools is changing the democratic process. With AI, creating fake media around political campaigns is easier than ever. While lawmakers in Brussels and Washington rushed to create rules to control AI-generated audio, images, and videos used in elections, a regulatory gap remains. The EU's AI Act won't take effect after their June parliamentary elections. In the US, bipartisan legislation to ban fake AI content about federal candidates probably won't become law before the November elections. Some US states have made laws against deceptive videos, but overall, policies are inconsistent. Meanwhile, there are few protections to stop politicians and their allies from using AI to fool voters. Fake media can spread quickly on social media and in private group chats. It's up to individuals, not regulators, to make ethical choices and avoid election chaos caused by AI. Generative AI tools are now so cheap and widely available that people can create misinformation without government support, matching nation-state campaigns. So, as election season heads up in the United States, brace yourself for more advanced deep fakes than we saw earlier. Your online contributions are being sold to AI companies. Online communities like Stack Overflow, Reddit, and Quora rely on user contributions, creating a wealth of data that AI companies are eager to license. This week, Stack Overflow, an online programmer community, signed a deal with OpenAI to supply data for their models. They've also partnered with Google to help train the Gemini model earlier. Why is this happening? Over the years, the wealth of knowledge users contribute makes these communities a goldmine for training AI models. Their data helps AI companies understand human questions, answers, and interactions better, making models like ChatGPT and Gemini more accurate. What's the catch? While it's good for online communities, there are questions of transparency and consent. Most users don't realize their contributions are being used to train AI models, and they don't directly benefit from these deals. As online communities seek ways to monetize their data, OpenAI and others will continue to license and sell user contributions to train AI models. There are lots of ethical questions. Should users be compensated? How can they ensure their data is used responsibly? AI companies will continue seeking valuable data sources to train their models. It's worth staying informed about how your contributions are being used. Meta is launching more AI tools for advertisers after introducing its first set of features last October. Now, Advertisers can request new image variations, letting AI change the photo's subject or product being advertised. This feature is powerful, but advertisers could misuse it to trick customers into buying products that don't exist. Meta says this feature has already begun rolling out. Soon, advertisers can add text prompts to tailor image variations even more. Apple has revealed its new AI-focused iPad Pro with the M4 chip. The M4 is said to be 1.5 times faster than the M2, giving the iPad Pro strong performance even when using resource-intensive apps. That's all for this week. We hope you found these updates informative. Stay tuned for more in-depth analysis and insights as we explore the fascinating world of AI.